Hello everyone and welcome to December's 8th grade book talks. My name is Rebecca and I'm a youth and school services librarian at the Vernon Area Public Library. Today again Lisa Marie and I are here to talk about two books we think you'll like. The first one's called In the Neighborhood of True by Susan Kaplan Carlton. Following her father's death, Ruth Rabb, her mother, and her younger sister moved from New York City to Atlanta in the summer of 1958 to be closer to her grandparents. When Ruth begins to be included in the popular group of girls in her high school, she decides to keep the fact that she's Jewish a secret, longing to be accepted into their elite social group. That secret becomes harder and harder to keep as she becomes more involved with her temple and the civil rights efforts her rabbi is spearheading. She falls easily into both groups, with the society girls and the members of her temple, but she still doesn't feel right being a part of both worlds with so many secrets. And while Ruth has her internal struggles, bubbling underneath the surface of a kind and friendly town lurks the fear of the other. And that fear and anger makes itself known loudly and dangerously. Ruth has to figure out who she is, what she stands for, and on that journey, she makes both mistakes and allies. High school is hard enough, but Ruth is determined to find the right place for herself, even if that means losing some very important people. But just exactly how much is Ruth willing to lose to be her most authentic self? This book was based on true events. Um, on the morning of October 12, 1958, 50 sticks of dynamite were placed by the northern entrance to the biggest temple in Atlanta called the Temple, exploding a massive hole into the building's outer wall. Luckily, the only damage was to the building and nobody was harmed in the blast. The bombing was the work of a white supremacist, of white supremacists and anti-Semitic hate groups. The temple's leader, Rabbi Jacob Rothschild, was a staunch ally of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., and he used his pulpit to advocate for social justice. This book is available in print at the library and as an ebook today. Vernon Area cardholders can put it on hold for pickup at any time on our website or via our Vernon Area Library app, or download the ebook on the Libby app with your Overdrive account. See you later! Thanks, Rebecca. The story that I'd like to tell you about is entitled, This Promise of Change, One Girl's Story in the Fight for School Equality by Joanne Allen Boyce and Debbie Levy. It's 1956. There are two types of schools in America, those for white kids and those for everybody else, meaning black and brown kids. But that year, the Supreme Court handed down a decision in a case called Brown versus Board of Education that said it was unconstitutional to do it that way. The justices said that the schools were separate but not equal. There were many differences, but most of all, having different schools meant that they didn't provide the same education and opportunities to all students. Schools were forced to change and had to begin enrolling students of all races. This is Joanne Allen's story and what it was like for her to be one of those few black students to go to a newly integrated high school in her hometown of Clinton, Tennessee. It describes the resistance and the hate that she and some of the other 11 students encountered just trying to get an education. Some of it from local residents, but much more of it from outside agitators who came to Clinton just to cause trouble. Try to imagine if the only safe way for you to get to your high school was by armed military escort. How would that make you feel? This book is compelling not only because of the subject matter, but because it's told in a unique way. First, some of the poems rhyming and some of them not. This historical memoir is a quick and memorable read. The chapters are interspersed with real newspaper headlines of the time, along with quotes in the U.S. Constitution and information about the kids known as the Clinton 12, 
and what happened to each of them. This title, highlighting early events in the battle for civil rights, provides some historical context to a movement that began back then that has most recently given rise to today's Black Lives Matter movement. Well, these are just a couple of our favorite books for eighth graders at the Vernon Area Public Library. These books are available from the library in print or electronically with your Vernon Area Public Library card. If you have a card from another library, you can check with them to see if they have these books as well. For more information, or if you have a question, you can visit our website, I am, call us, or text us. We also have an online book talk guide that contains other recommended titles and a link to a book match form, a way that you can get customized reading suggestions sent to you based on your interest. Thanks very much.